We pulled this really cool BMW 740i out of a garage for the first time in years, but here's what makes it even cooler. The car was previously owned by one of the main cast members of the show Entourage. Now the question is, who used to own it? Well, we talked to the new owner, Billy Marty, who's a good friend of this actor, and I'm gonna let him tell you guys who it was. All right guys, so we're back with a familiar face, Billy, who actually had just sold uh, an E30 to our good buddy, Brian. Yep. And uh, while we were here buying the car, we had seen this. BMW 740 sitting in the garage, and uh, we pulled some strings and and got Billy to agree to allow us to uh, to come and detail it. This car actually has a pretty pretty cool story behind it. Uh, I believe it was owned by a famous actor. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Kevin Dillon from Entourage. Uh, Kevin's my best buddy. He's excited. I told him that you guys are doing this, so he's at working on a film. So when maybe it comes back, we'll reach out to Kevin. But uh, yeah, I uh, drove it back from California and. It's uh, 740i. I'm excited to see it done because it needs it. I heard great things about your shop, so. Oh, thank you. Well, the best part is is that we're gonna combine both videos. We're gonna try and get that E30 running, but the piece de resistance is gonna be uh, detailing the 740. Obviously, it's been sitting for how long? Oh, God, three years. Three years or so, collecting dust. We're gonna make it uh, look as like new as possible, and then you said you might even be able to get us. Got some more stuff we can play around with, a couple Porsches and maybe a Corvette or. Yeah, a that sounds Chevy. great to us. He so. loved this car. He loved this car. Uh, we're BMW fans, clearly you are, and uh, as is Good Mr. Mr. Uh, Kevin. So, um, anywho, we're gonna load this sucker up, get her back to the shop, and uh, waste no time and get started. Now looking over the car, you can see it's in pretty decent shape. It just needs a good detailing. But I have to say, I was so excited about this detail personally because I've been such a big fan of Entourage ever since I was even a kid. I used to watch it with my dad, so the fact that we get to work on Kevin Dillon's car, it's honestly such a blessing. Which leads me to ask you guys, have you guys ever seen the show? And if you have, who is your favorite character? But I should say, if you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. And I do know Kevin Dillon also has a podcast. I think it's called Victory, the podcast. So if you guys enjoyed Entourage, you should go check it out. Now hopping into the detail, we started on the XT with the wheels and the BBS rims on these are beautiful but do any of you guys know the exact names of these ones if you guys are interested in any of the products you see us using in our videos or any of the tools it's all in the description below on wheels we like to use PNS brake buster it's one of our favorite products we've come into contact with so far but we're always testing new stuff and if we find something we like better we'll let you know The best part about our job is that we get to work with all these really cool cars and for really cool people like our friend Brian and like our new friend Billy. And the reason we're able to do that is because of you guys and great sponsors like this video's Surfshark. What is Surfshark you might ask? Well, it's a VPN and that stands for Virtual Private Network. And what a VPN does is keep your online identity safe by encrypting all the information you're sending between your devices and the internet. Why is this important? Four words, big companies, cyber criminals. When you use something like Surfshark, you're protecting your personal information anytime you use free public Wi-Fi, which can be a gold mine for data hackers. So imagine a scenario like this, you're sitting in Starbucks and you connect to their Wi-Fi network. Well, without a VPN, now you're vulnerable to hackers that are also connected to the same network. And another great purpose for using a VPN is to change your virtual location. So let's say, for example, you don't live in America, but you wanna watch a Netflix show that's only available here and they don't have it in your country. Well, you can connect to your Surfshark VPN and boom, you have all these new shows unlocked. Guys, there are so many reasons to start using a VPN as soon as possible, and with Surfshark, you can connect as many devices as you want to one account. Also, Surfshark is offering you guys right now 83% off, plus three extra months completely for free, 
all with a money back guaranteed. So if you don't like it, you can get your money back, which essentially means there's zero risk to trying it out. So go use our link in the description below to get the discount right now. Thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Let's hop right back into the detail. Now hopping into the engine bay, it is totally safe to use a pressure washer in there as long as you disconnect the battery first. So we take the pressure washer, give it an initial rinse, and then we use our degreaser on it and let it sit for just a second. While we go ahead and use our soft bristle brushes everywhere to try to agitate all of that dirt and dust on it. And then afterwards, we'll go ahead and spray it all away and use a leaf blower to get any of that sitting water out. But I wanna test your knowledge. Who knows what engine is inside this car? Because boy, let me tell you, when we were moving this thing around our shop, it doesn't run, it was very heavy. Now at this point before working on the interior, the E30 had just gotten to our shop, so we wanted to work on that first, but we wanted to prep the paint before it dried so later on we could polish it. And I have to say this car specifically had a lot of scratches all over it, but RJ did an amazing job later on on removing so many of them. You guys are gonna see how fantastic it turned out. First thing I think we should do is see if we can get to start. Where are you? Oh my goodness, Brian, you jumped the gun, man. Well, at least it turns. You want to spray some star fluid? Yeah, I want to hear her make a car noise. The last time we did this, we uh, we caught the Volvo on fire. Woo. But this time, we're working on a German car, so we're gonna be fine. Cool. Ooh. That sounded All right, nice. Go ahead. Do it again. Spray some gas. All right. Hey. Well, that's a car noise. That is a car noise. This motor's not receiving fuel. That's why it's not starting, but it cranks over a little bit with some starter fluid, so that's good. Let's take some, some looks at this guy. A little bit of rusty suspension action going on. Oh, yeah. This fuel line is completely destroyed. We have two brand new fuel lines, the return line and the sending line, so we have uh, just a little bit of work, some clips to remove, and we can just pop these right out and get the new ones on. So Brian's up front working on the fuel lines right now, but I wanna take a look at this exhaust because it's seen better days. This whole thing's shot for sure. We're just gonna cut it off probably at like the midpoint. Brian plans on doing a full exhaust on this car, so this won't matter too much. We gotta get out of, get, get rid of this thing. <laughs> to the dump with this guy. So after we got the car to at least make some noise, we were able to take it off the lift and give it a good wash and clean the inside. And then we took it over to ECS Tuning where Brian works and dropped it off there and he's gonna be fully rebuilding this car. So if we get an update in the future, I'll definitely make sure to include that in a video. But while we were there, I took some shots of the cars that they're building and it's really cool. They have an M4 that they're building that's insane. A 944, which RJ actually has one, but the motor sees, this one's really cool. The ECS gave us a full tour of their facility and it was a nice little break from working on the 740. But after that, we came back to our shop and we finished up the car.
So as we started vacuuming inside the car, we noticed every time we picked up a floor mat, they left some foam on the carpet. Do any of you guys know why this happens? It seems to be a BMW problem from what we've seen. But we're not quite sure. And then also as we were vacuuming, we ended up finding something really cool. And that was a vehicle identification slip we found inside the owner's manual. And as you can see, it has Kevin Dillon's name right on it. And for the extraction, there were definitely some pretty gnarly stains in this carpet, so we did our absolute best to get them out as much as possible, but lighter carpets like this, sometimes it's impossible to get them 100% out, but as long as you're improving, that's all that matters as a detailer. Something we've really started to utilize in our arsenal of detailing tools are magic erasers because they do an absolutely amazing job of getting all of that grime off of the top layer of any kind of surface you're using it on. So if you guys have never tried these on your car, I would highly recommend it. But I would say you guys have to be cautious because they do sand down the top layer of whatever you're cleaning a little bit because they're abrasive. But for seats like this, you can see that they started out really shiny. And what you're doing is you're taking all of those oils and whatever that are on the seat out of it. You're cleaning it, getting it 100% dry, and then you use a conditioner to recondition it and make it nice and soft again. And the rest of the car is just pretty dusty, so let's go ahead and give it a good clean with some APC and a soft bristle brush.
moving back to the exterior, here's the fun part. Look at all those scratches. So RJ went ahead and started by sanding everything down and then he pulled out the rotary and then he finished it with a red pad on the dual action buffer and you guys will see the absolutely insane transformation this paint made. Jason Kilmer, if you're watching, RJ wanted to give you a shout out specifically because he said you would be proud. So finishing up the detail, we're gonna go ahead and dress the tires just to make them look really good. And then we're gonna cover the entire car in a ceramic spray sealant to give it some extra protection and shine. Now, normally I don't talk over the end B-roll, but I really just wanted to take a second and thank you guys again for all the support you've been giving us recently. And I wanna give a massive shout out to this video sponsor, Surfshark, because without these sponsors, we would not be able to do these videos for you guys because we do every single detail on this channel absolutely for free. So with brands like Surfshark, seeing the potential in us and wanting to get involved in our channel. It helps us with finding these cars and being able to travel to pick them up and put out the absolute best content we can for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. And if you didn't already, subscribe to the channel and like the video. We have some absolutely crazy cars that we found in the last week that we cannot wait to show you. So you don't want to miss those videos coming up. And with that being said, we'll see you guys next week.